welcome back to Hard Knocks Tarot. We're going to do a general read. Timeless read, not a personal read. It's not going to resonate with everybody. If the title brought you in here, more than likely, this message is for you. It's not all going to resonate. Take what's for you, leave the rest. Let's get started. As usual, I felt to pull to do a read before I started my day. No other reason am I here, except that I've been called. So, let's see what message is going on. Oh, look at that. The devil just decided to slide up. Whew. I absolutely feel like devil energy is swarming around, trying to fuck shit up like a Tasman Tasmanian devil. More than usual. All right. Let's first clarify that devil card. This very first card is the absolute most important card. The last card is... The second most important card, but let's flower out with this devil. All right, we got the two of pentacles in reverse. Lots of decision making this weekend. This past weekend, um, whenever you are watching this, again, this is timeless, but the last few days, lots of decision making. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Let's put out seven cards, please, spirit. You know how I do. <laughs> Gonna take those cards. Too many cards. Too many cards. One or two cards, please, spirit. They'll come out again if it's meant to be. They will. Ace of Cups in reverse. A Ten of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And the Empress in reverse. Damn! It's looking kind of scary, y'all. I'm not going to lie. What do we got here? On either side, we have the Ten of Cups and the King of Cups. <sighs> Interesting. I feel like you're being forced into making the decision to not start anything new at this time. I feel like there are a lot of negative thoughts, actions, or you know, whatever going your way. There's lots of judgment going your way. I feel like people are just preying on your... Preying on your... Um, your lack of, your weaknesses, your worry. I'm feeling like you don't have a lot of time, that, the time that you need to make a decision or decisions in general. I'm feeling a very quick energy. Stand your ground, see? Clarified with the devil. I feel like there's just... <sighs> These bitches are just waiting. Just waiting to hear some bad news, you know, just... <laughs> watching you like a fucking eagle and just waiting for you to fall. Two of pentacles in reverse and transformation. I think you are trying to look away from these types of people who enjoy watching your ups and downs. These people have nothing better to do in their lives. Uh, they're very petty. Um, they're very vain. They are all about who you know, all about... Um, you know, how they look on the outside. While you are trying to look away from this energy, you're trying to make a lot of changes within yourself and in your life, and you are focusing on stability, and that is not going to change. Okay, so even though these bitches are looking down on you, wishing you to fail, they're very fake as well, is what I'm getting. You are standing your ground and your stability no matter what. 
of these cards here. The Spirit's telling me to tell you, don't give them the satisfaction. Keep going. Don't tell them anything. Just keep keep it moving. Keep it moving forward. Do not entertain these energies, these entities. The waiting game in reverse. <sighs> like I said, I was talking about time. A quick energy in reverse. I feel like these people that are carrying these dark, heavy energies that are just preying on you and, you know, what you're doing, just too fucking worried about what the fuck you're doing, okay? They are getting bored of focusing on you. You know, they're kind of looking at you like, all right, on to my next victim, you know, type of thing. Like, they might have another interest. They might decide that you are too strong to be fucked with this time around. As I say that, light comes out and fertility, fertility in reverse. Yeah, these people are trying to take away your manifestations. They are talking shit. Truth. I feel like I feel like you know the truth. You're sitting on truth. You're sitting on the the um, uh, scales, the balance scales right now. Justice, Libra energy. Okay, and you've been through this fucking game already. You know their game. You know, so they can take away. They think they can take away your light. They think that they could take away anything that you're trying to start anew by just talking shit on you and spreading lies about you and all of this shit, but it's not working or you're not showing like you're being affected. Even if you are being affected, you're not showing it. You're looking the other way completely because you've already have dedicated, you already made the decision that you're not turning back around, but you are going to continue to move forward no matter what. Let's see what this Ace of Cups in Reverse is all about. Obviously, there is a love that you are not entertaining at this time for whatever reason. There is love coming in that is being blocked. Ace of Cups, please, Spirit. Ace of Cups. Shadow in Reverse. This might be somebody that you are attracted to because you have a lot of things that you find are in common. Um, it's almost like you're looking at yourself. This person triggers you in a good way. For some reason, this person is able to be critical of you and you don't take offense to it. This person is a soulmate and was brought into your life to help you understand yourself and to help you work through whatever it is that is blocking you at this time. But for some reason, the love is being blocked. The starting of the blossoming of this relationship. Emotional withdrawal. You might just be scared. Awareness in reverse. You might not know what this person's all about or what, how the relationship might go. So you're apprehensive. You have a lot of questions. You don't want to start something and then it fuck up again. Temptation in reverse. You are trying with all your might not to just, you know, lay all your heart down on the line because, like I said, you're scared that it's going to be fucked up. This person is different. This person is you feel is someone that has been brought to you special on a platter patience with the ten of pentacles which is a card of slow movement and the page of pentacles you have a patience ten of pentacles and a page of pentacles i want you to know there are going to be some struggles but they're temporary they're coming your way spirit is asking you to be patient to allow this to grow recognition and reward take it slow take it slow is your advice here because you will be recognized and rewarded for your patience Accelerated motion. What is that all about? Accelerated motion. I'm going to put this King of Cups that we saw earlier down on the side and also this Ten of Cups. And let's just see what's going on here. I don't know how this got turned over. Very interesting. Accelerated motion. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. The Tower, yeah. I feel like you are trying to avoid any kind of fuck-ups in this Um you don't want to take this person's shine away. You don't want to take away what they've already built for themselves. You don't want to take away what it is that they're trying to do. You don't want to throw a wrench in it. You don't want to interrupt their life. You don't want to cause any type of huge change in their life. You don't want to be responsible for a change in their life because you saw that they worked hard to build where, where they are right now on their own. Um, let's get more clarity on this tower. I do see a portal here. 
I do feel like you two will eventually get together. Six of swords. Four of pentacles and the sun card. Wow. What I'm seeing here is if you just, if you just allow this relationship to blossom naturally, you will get what you want. It's the sun card here and the six of swords. Your person is consulting with the universe. Very strong energy, very protective energy. Um, but they are being blessed. They're being blessed at this time and um, they are being uh, sent messages and codes. And it is allowing them to move forward because this person is struggling. Okay, they're struggling for their stability. Um, they might be hoarding all of their energy for just to keep afloat right now. You don't know. Um, but their light alone, this person is very much closer to the spiritual realm. They have answers is what they have. They are rich in wisdom. They are rich in self-awareness. They are rich in their outlook on life and how they live it and how they interact and how they move in and out of this world. Jesus Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. Five of Wands, yep. And the lovers in reverse. Okay, so this person, like I said, doesn't feel completely stable right now on their own. They are pushing away all kinds of love. They just think it's a headache that is more than likely going to take away their stability and just give them uh, another worry, another another uh, thing to stress about, right? But this is all temporary because fives are temporary in the tarot, okay? This person is giving you a little bit and you want a lot. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And the death card. Yeah, this person feels like they don't have enough to offer in order to move forward with you. They are still going through a major transformation that is taking up a lot of their time, a lot of their focus, a lot of their mind. With the chariot card, what's going on here? Oh, spirit. The magician in reverse. Yeah, they're moving away from a past that they thought that they were manipulated by. Knight of Cups, any reverse, they don't like any any um, player energy, any, uh, they're just not looking for a one-night stand, this person. Six of Cups in reverse, Seven of Cups in reverse, I mean, in the upright, and the Knight of Wands in reverse. This person wants things to happen naturally. They don't want to look at the past anymore. They've been confused, and, you know, they might still be. Let's see what's going on with this Empress in reverse, all right? Someone is missing some love. The Two of Cups in reverse. Holy shit. You might be feeling lonely and empty yourself, Collective. You might be feeling like you are missing this, this kind of love in your life that you think this person could, could give to you, but right now they are not equipped. Two of Wands in reverse, see? In reverse. They're not equipped to do that. King of Wands with a star in reverse. So either you or them just feel like you're not ready. You're really not ready. You're feeling this connection. You have a lot of love in your cup, in your heart, you're ready to give, but like in the 3D world, you're not ready. You're not ready financially, you, you or them, okay, might not feel stable. You might not feel emotionally ready to start another relationship. There's a lot of fear here. And there is a lot of will to just get through. And, you know, it feels like you both have something to prove before you're able to get into anything, uh, anything serious or anything at all. Yeah, right now you are, or they, are just are, are, are not feeling stable enough. Not They know or you know that you're not able to look at the situation all that uh, in all of its glory, <laughs> look at the situation in all of its angles, all of its dimensions. And, and so you or them or both of you are, you know, you know you're not coming from a place of, of fairness right now. Like you do have a lot of grudges that you're holding or they do and they're just not ready. They're just not ready. They're, they're going about the full energy right now, the full energy. What's going on with this right now? This is starting a new beginning. This is trusting the universe. Four of swords in reverse. You see? I just get a very restless energy. A very restless, not even eight of cups. Yeah, walking away from what hasn't served. Walking away from different things that they've tried. Different relationships, friends, lovers, whatever. And just saying, you know what? I... I try all I can. I'm walking away. This person, you know, just might want to keep walking away from relationships with the Seven of Swords in reverse. Let's see what's going on with that. 
they're able to finally see Queen of Wands in reverse. The truth for what it is. Queen of Wands, and so now they're creating their own life. They're creating new things. Um, but they're, or you are still in that creative mode. You're still feeling anxious. You still feel like you have to protect yourself. You still feel fear that, you know, you're not ready. You're still not feeling like you're stable enough, but yet you have the love and you yearn for the love. It's just, you know, a lot of times love is not the only thing that you need. Ace of Swords in reverse. You or them, they don't want to cut off this connection entirely. They want to keep getting their money straight and continue to heal um, their head, their mind, and their soul. They're still, they're getting over a past relationship still. They've healed from that, but it's still there. Nine of Swords in reverse. Yeah, they are still healing. Nine of Swords in reverse, Five of Cups in reverse. You got a Ten of Cups as your last fucking card. Ten of Cups is fulfillment and love in all ways. Friendship in the bedroom, like you guys fuck good. You can communicate as friends. You can have fun, be silly, be serious, talk about money, have kids, you know, the whole thing. What's going on with this Ten of Cups, please, Spirit? Complete fulfillment. Moving on in reverse and patience in planning in reverse. Choose wisely. <laughs> you or them are th still thinking about the ex. Should I stay or should I go now? Should I pursue new things or should I keep waiting? Should I wait until some time has passed and try again? Should I contact this person or should I contact this person? What should I do? So you're not ready. They're not ready. You're not ready. Be patient. Be patient. You both are still not ready. You're both healing. That's been your read. That was your message. That's the spirit I want to talk about today. Hope you enjoyed it. If it resonated, like, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Namaste.